Hi, I'm Sarah with People for Bikes. Thanks for joining us in this series as we share our passion for making biking better for everyone. To help communities benchmark their progress and establish goals for future improvement, our Places for Bikes City Ratings Program provides an annual assessment of your city's biking network. The collection of trails, bike lanes, and quiet neighborhood streets that help people get where they need to go and travel safely on two wheels. City Ratings looks at how easy and comfortable it is to navigate a city via bike and gives that city a score between 1 and 100. This year, San Luis Obispo earned top place in our City Ratings program, beating out more than 500 other U.S. cities. It was immediately clear that San Luis Obispo's success in bicycling didn't happen overnight. A consistent dedication to investing in their bike network over the last 20 years provided the foundation for bicycling to grow. To learn what makes San Luis Obispo so great for biking, we spoke with Adam Fukushima, the city's active transportation manager, and discussed what makes biking in San Luis Obispo so special. So one of the things we're working on right now is taking our bicycle plan and converting it into an active transportation plan that includes both bicycling and walking. And one benefit of doing that is we've really expanded the coalition of, of folks who are interested in active transportation to those who aren't just a fearless rider, but to those that maybe ride less often and also people who just walk, everyone walks. We could build the most world-class bike facilities, but if it's 10 miles or, or longer to get to where we need to be, that's not really gonna be uh, a, a successful facility in getting people out on their bike. It's about having uh, good zoning regulations. We try to make all of our destinations um, close together so that it isn't too far from you know, where you shop, where you work, where you live, where you recreate. And, and if you can get those under uh, you know, two miles or uh, around that, we know that that's sort of the, the sweet spot where people are, are willing and able to ride a bike. San Luis Obispo's determination to prioritize safety and invest in bike lanes for people of all ages and abilities is a great example of what staying the course can achieve. While the city's steadfast investment over the years did set the stage for bicycling growth, they didn't become 2020's best city for biking by playing it slow. City leaders knew bold action was necessary, and that bold action needed to be matched by bold funding. By aligning their biking goals to other city priorities, San Luis Obispo ensured that funding future bike projects would be a central component of the city's investment for years to come. Climate action is really important for our community. I would say it's uh, probably more of a concern and more popular than even bike facilities, which is really key. So we had our first iteration of our climate action plan in 2013. And uh, we came up, up with a goal of trying to reach 20% of all trips by bike. And that kind of snowballed into other policies. And so um, the very next year, um, we started updating our circulation element. We rolled it into, well, how do we do our funding? And so we looked at, well, if, we, if our goal is 20% bike trips, let's fund it that way too. So we put our money where our mouth is. And so now um, when we do our, our, our annual budget, well, we have to actually show that we're spending 20% of our transportation budget on bicycling. When, when some controversies do come up about what we're spending our, our money on, um, we can point to the Climate Action Plan. We know that all of our city residents aren't bicyclists, but they, a lot of them, or most of them, agree on climate action. And so if we could tie a lot of our bicycle policy and infrastructure and plans to climate action, that's a great way to get consensus and move forward. Finally, San Luis Obispo isn't content with just being this year's top city for cycling. They want to maintain that position and are rapidly working to make bikes and safe places to ride them a top priority. Starting this year with careful planning and smart construction, San Luis Obispo is working to implement a completely connected, comfortable network of protected bike lanes and off-street trails that allow people on bikes or on foot to travel safely and easily throughout their community. One thing we'll, we're doing on the bike side is the protected intersection. And a protected intersection is basically an intersection that 
uh, provide separation uh, for the bicyclist and the pedestrian as you're going through the intersection. You have your own traffic signal for you as a bike signal head to help you get through on your own phase, just as well as, as a pedestrian normally does. We have plans to convert our arterial bike lane network, which we have all over the city, all to uh, protected bike lanes or cycle tracks. It just helps provide more separation, which makes things more comfortable and therefore makes things more safe as well. Achieving success requires that we push even further with creative budget strategies, innovative expansion plans, and consistent investment over time. No matter the size or composition of your city, these are practical lessons you can use in your own community. Thanks for joining us as we looked at what makes San Luis Obispo an amazing place for riding bikes. Visit our City Ratings website for more tools and resources that will improve the health, livelihood, and future of our streets, cities, and planet. Together, let's create a better world through bikes.